it's me, GV, and welcome to a brand new edition of Far Harbor's Hidden Treasures in Fallout 4, ladies and gentlemen. This one is going to be Horizon Flight 1207. Probably going to be a short but very sweet location. This one was suggested by the Poke Prof, and I actually knew about this one prior to hearing the suggestions, but I wanted to wait to explore it to uh, do it on a Far Harbor's Hidden Treasures, obviously. And, little side note, you want to bring Old Longfellow or dog meat? Uh, I've have already been traveling with Old Longfellow because apparently they'll have some unique interactions. Um, that's just a tip that I heard. I'm not sure if that's going to be correct or not. I guess we'll see. Anyways, I've already activated this location, but I have not been inside, so I'll show you where it is. There's Horizon Flight 1207, and over here is going to be Far Harbor. Alright, now let's approach and see what we have. Obviously, it's another plane crash. There's no shortage of those in Far Harbor. Well, I was going to say Far Harbor, but more specifically in Fallout 3. This might be the only one in Far Harbor, actually. Okay, well, let's go inside of it. We've got some meat hanging and some chairs. And what is this? Looks like a terminal to me, and it has an advanced lock, or an advanced password, I should say. But that is definitely not going to stop me. Let's activate that first, and this one. Two duds removed, which means I think we're 100% guaranteed to open this now. How about spears? Okay, security door control. Let's open that right up. And that's going to be this one. Erickson, that you out there? Long fellow? You're still alive, eh? I'll tell your friend to come on out here. I've had dealings with him before. Not a bad sort. Okay, so yeah, there is a unique interaction with Old Longfellow. I wonder how the dog meat interaction goes. Well, let's talk to this what man. What are you doing up there in my camp? You're a super mutant? I'm surprised you didn't attack me. Yeah, well, maybe you shouldn't be so quick to jump to conclusions. Look, I don't really want any trouble. I broke off from the group I came here with a long time ago. I just started seeing things differently when we came to the island, and I couldn't stand how the other super mutants act to humans. I keep to myself up here and train my dogs. Do a bit of trade with people too, at least those that don't open fire on me. Don't see any reason we can't do the same. Come on up if you'd like. It's always nice to find a nice super mutant, you know? Old fellow lo uh, like that? Well, that's that's great. Uh, I don't think he's going to like it when we murder Erickson in cold blood and steal everything that he has. But hey, just kidding. I wouldn't do that. Burn book? No, thank you. Let's turn on our Pip-Boy light and see what Erickson has. Most of this stuff is going to be owned, as you can tell. And I don't really steal, so yeah, we're not going to be taking any of this stuff. Also, one of the tips I've learned about this location is that... Apparently, it's really easy for uh, Erickson to get mad, as in, if you steal his stuff, he will attack you. Okay, we do have a stim pack, or a first aid box, and also a an industrial trunk, so if you do want to go the violent option, there is some stuff to loot. But I've got my fair share of anything that those two containers can offer. So where in the world is Erickson, actually? I'm trying to find out where he has walked over to, but we have a bit to explore anyways. Erickson, where in the world are you? I do want to barter with you, but I have no clue where you went. Down here? He said, come on up. We were already... Ah. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. So he's got a mutant hound named Gracie. A wolf named Mishka. Let's see, what else do you have in here, Erickson? Looks like only two cages, so only the two wolves, or the one wolf and the mutant hound. Alright, I think all that remains is to talk to Hello. Mr. Erickson. Hello again. Did you need something? So, why don't you hate humans like the rest of your kind seem to? Started seeing things more clearly when we came here. Who knows? Maybe it's the fog. I just don't see what the point of us all killing each other is. Did you train these dogs? Yeah, as guard dogs. Not all can be trained, though. Most are used to being kicked or shot at. I can only manage a few at a time, though. So unless I find a new home for one of them, I can't really take on anymore. 
Yeah, too much, you know, doing nothing in the wasteland. Yeah, I know how it goes, you know. Not enough time in the day, am I right? You just live out here by yourself? My kind are mostly stupid brutes. They used to trade with a couple people in Far Harbor, but they don't leave the settlement much these days. The rest of the people on the island are worse. Got any tips about the island? Hmm. There is a lighthouse on the south end of the island. Big family of trappers lives there. I've been there, I'm pretty sure. That was part of the, uh, forget what her name is, but the Bloodlines Blood Ties quest. You interested in a trade? Hmm. Uh, maybe? Maybe. You were offering to trade this entire time, now you're only maybe interested? Come on now. Uh, I happen to know Erickson has some unique things, just like most of the vendors in Fallout 4. Let's take a look at him. He's got the Butcher's Hook, refills your action points on a critical hit. Let's see. He's got a bunch of aid. No. No, uh, no apparel, though. A. One baseball. Maybe that's telling of his childhood or something. I don't really know. Uh, he's got a bunch of ammo, though. And let's buy that. Let's buy the 5.56. And let's see, got any shotgun shells? Yes, you do. They always do. Okay, that's good. We'll accept that. All right. Uh, you hungry? Here, have this. Wow, he even gives us free food. I was interested in buying one of your guard dogs. Which one would you like? Buy Gracie for 250 caps, buy Mishka for 250 caps, buy Duke for 250 caps. I have not seen Duke. Uh, let's go with Gracie. I think she would be the most ferocious. I'll take the mutant hound. Where did you want it to guard? So when you buy them, you send them to a, a settlement. And uh, I'm going to send all of them to Sanctuary Hills because that's pretty much the only settlement I mess with. So that good. and the castle. You take care. Now, let's see if we can buy all of them. The trade. I was interested in buying... Which one would you like? Looks like we can. Buy a mutant hound, buy Mishka, and buy Duke. Let's buy all of the unique ones. I'd like to buy the wolf. Where did you want it to guard? I think you know where, Erickson. If we can. Treat them right, and they'll do the same for you. So this is pretty cool. Pretty cool feature here. Hello again. Oh, an old long fellow likes it when I buy pets. I guess it's an that's a way to uh, grind down his affinity if you have the caps. I don't know. I don't know if it'd be worth it. I was interested in buying which one. So now we can buy a mutant hound, we can buy a wolf, and let's see what Duke is. I was interested in the dog. Where did you want it to guard? Oh, I wish there was some dialogue where he's like, "Oh no, that one's not for sale." That'd be cool. Treat him right, and they'll do. Uh huh. All right. It's probably a bed around if you need a rest. I was interested in buying one of your guard dogs. I'm all out at the moment. Give me a week or two and I'll train up another. So that's pretty cool. You can buy mutant hounds, wolves, and dogs, and then send them to whatever... Oh, there was another... Oh, there's more cells here, yeah. And then send them to whatever uh, settlement you want defended. And then you can just wait and he'll train some more. Really nice feature. I happen to know that's pretty much it. I'm going to double check just in case, and I'll see you guys in a second. Yep, it looks like that's it. There's one little tidbit of information that I'd like to share with you all. The location is called Horizon Flight 1207, but the plane that crashed clearly has Skylane's Air painted on the body, and you can see it right here, Skylane's Air. So I guess that was just a little oversight. Uh, on the developer's part. Nevertheless, pretty cool location. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave any and all suggestions below for other places you'd like to see me explore in Far Harbor. They cannot be quest-related. I see a lot of people suggesting the vault, which is 100% quest-related. The quest is called Brain Dead. Really cool quest, but, yep, the point of this series is to explore locations most people will not see because they are not quest-related, like this one. Thanks for watching again, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.